All right, this time, there's no time for Pleasantries Universe. Engage rant mode. What's up, guys, and welcome to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know. I printed it out myself. So what's up, guys? Breaking news, and oh my god, is this one a doozy. This will probably just be a quick video, not my usual, like, 10-minute rant type deal. But, you know, I had to do a video on this one as soon as I saw... Sony was trending on Twitter, I clicked it, I found out what was going on, and, you know, funny enough, like, timing was perfect, just as I was about to share it with, like, the, the Comic Universe group chat, uh, that, I, you know, I share with C-Dubs and DVZ, uh, C-Dubs shares the links, and I'm like, dude, right? I am panicking right now. There's no way this is actually happening, is it? There's no way. And then I like, I check, I check, I look at site after site after site, variety, deadline, all these reputable sources are telling me that Tom Holland Spider-Man could be leaving the MCU if Sony and Marvel do not reach an agreement. Now, I want to make this clear. All the headlines say Spider-Man could be leaving the MCU. They do not say that he is. No final decision has been made by either party. However, I would just like to address how stupid Sony is being right now if they're even considering letting Marvel not have access to Tom Holland Spider-Man. Do you know how easy that deal is for them? Look, Marvel does most of the actual work when creating these Spider-Man films. They get the directors, Feige produces, they put their own spin on it, they add their MCU magic mojo juice, whatever they do. And you've seen what they've done, you've seen how amazing Spider-Man Homecoming is, you saw how great Far From Home is, and how it brought to light one of the best underrated Spider-Man villains out there in Mysterio. You've seen how they can breathe new life into this franchise that we've seen rebooted three times within our lifetime. We've seen now how they can actually perfectly capture the essence of my favorite superhero of all time. And we actually let to see this kid grow and develop and not just rush through high school actually experiencing his like formative years and developmental period which was such a huge part of what makes his character so relatable and endearing they have finally gotten spider-man right and they're making so much money off of this franchise so much money and according to the variety article that i read Marvel is only making 5% of the money that they get from the Spider-Man movies off of the current deal they had. Now, I don't know about you guys, but with the amount of work that Marvel has put in, I feel like they deserve a little bit more than 5%. Now, yeah, I know, it's Disney, it's Marvel, they're already a mega corporation that owns everything. They don't really need more money. But, if you really think about it, with the amount of work they put in... Is it even really worth it for them to, like, do all this for Sony, and Sony's the one making all the money? Like, business-wise, that doesn't make any sense. Which is why they apparently came to this impasse and was like, hey, we would like to just do a 50-50 split. You know, you get half, we get half. I mean, granted, like... You won't be making as much as you used to, and you'll have to, you know, split the money with us. But look at how much money you're making. Spider-Man Far From Home made over a billion dollars. It has surpassed Skyfall as the most successful movie created by Sony Pictures. Do you know how bad Sony is doing right now in terms of its movie studio and just in general? Spider-Man is Sony's final lifeline, man. Like... They cannot afford 
to lose this bit of goodwill and good faith that they've developed thanks to their relationship with Marvel. There's no way they're going to survive. Why are they even doing this? They're shooting themselves in the foot. It's just it's pissing me off. I do not know how to even like rationalize what they're doing. Like, granted, I don't have a business degree. I haven't sat in on the meetings with Sony and Marvel. I don't have any idea what that kind of climate or environment is like. But just from a purely fan perspective, everything that has come out of this Marvel-Sony relationship has been absolutely fantastic. And it's not like Sony doesn't have any successful properties that are just purely Sony. Sony has the Into the Spider-Verse franchise, which was absolutely amazing and won an Oscar. Come on, Sony. That is all you. Marvel isn't involved in that, or at least Marvel Studios, like the MCU, is not involved in that whatsoever. That is all you guys, and that did fantastic. But you know what got fans to trust Sony in the first place? After they screwed us over with the Tobey Maguire movies and then the Andrew Garfield ones? It's because of this deal with Spider-Man and letting Marvel take the reins. Marvel knows what they're doing. Sony, you clearly do not. You don't. You're drunk, Sony. You're drunk. Go home. Relax. Drink some water, drink some coffee, do what you gotta do, but you need to stop right now. I'm not standing for this whatsoever. As a hardcore Spider-Man fan, this guy is not just any hero to me. He is my favorite Marvel superhero of all time, so I will not, I will not, and I repeat one last time, I will not stand for this. Look, man, if you guys Take Tom Holland Spider-Man out of the MCU, I will be absolutely fucking pissed. Yeah, that's right. I dropped the F-bomb, but you know what? It's one time, and this is a serious occasion. Look, Sony, you have earned a lot of good faith with the stuff you're doing with Marvel. Do not blow it with some dumb decision because you don't want to make less money. Do you know what's going to happen if you if you make a movie where Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four team up? You'll make even more money! Do you know what's going to happen if you feature a movie where Spider-Man becomes, I don't know, the leader of the freaking Avengers? You'll make even more money! You know the merchandising? That still goes to you! Like, come on, dude! Think logically here. Like, I am not a business person. I'm just speaking as a very, very impassioned fan. And look at me. I said I wasn't going to go for 10 minutes, but you know what? I've just got a lot to say, and it looks like I might actually end up going for 10 minutes. Seriously, Sony, I am begging you as a fan, as a consumer, just from any angle I can come at this with, do not do this. Like... Tom, I'm not going to blame you if this happened. It's not your fault. You know, you are bound by a contract. Like, if you have to do this, if you have to support Sony, look, that's you. Like, it's your job. I'm not going to be mad at you. But trust me, I will be mad at the Sony execs who thought, oh, you know, we made two great movies with Marvel's help. We got this now. We don't need Marvel. Guess what, Sony? I hate to break it to you, but you need Marvel. Trust me on this one. We've let you do, what, like five movies by yourself with no Marvel. And, you know, two of them were great and three of them suck. So let's do the math here. You got two hits, three misses. Technically, three hits if we count into the Spider-Verse, but if we're talking strictly live-action Spider-Man movies, you've got two hits and three massive misses. Nobody wants your stupid Spider-Man spin-offs. Nobody wants Silver Sable and Black Cat. Nobody wants Morbius. Some people want Venom because Venom was not actually surprisingly entertaining movie. But, other than that, the only thing we want from you, Sony, 
is more into the Spider-Verse stuff. Leave Spider-Man alone and just let him stay with Marvel. The fact that I have to go on a 10 minute rant just begging you guys to do this is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. As you can see, I'm angry about this news, but let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments down below as always. Don't forget to leave this video a like so let us know you enjoyed it. The likes really do help, they help to spread the video all throughout the algorithm so that they get shared and recommended through all the other fellow Marvel and Spider-Man fans like yourselves. Share this video, spread the word, spread the news, we have to show Sony that we cannot and will not stand for this, alright? We gotta, you know, stick for solidarity, you know, webhead forever. I can't do the whole, the web shooter fingers. Anyways, but yeah, I'm a little flustered, but that's besides the point. We need to make sure Spidey stays home. Do you know how long it took for us to get him back? We're not gonna lose him again. We can't. We absolutely cannot. Uh, so share this video, like the video. Uh, do whatever you got to do. Uh, if you like what we do here, if you like myself, C-Dubs, or DPZ, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can become one of Earth's Mightiest subscribers today. We really appreciate it. We've got tons of content for you guys, and I promise, usually, most of our content is not this angry, but uh, this is a special occasion. We cover news, reviews, and so much more, so... Don't forget to check out the outro card where we will leave linked a video YouTube mysterious algorithm things you might like as well as our latest upload in case you're new to the channel and want to check out what we have to offer. But until next time guys, this is Jay from Mysterious Reviews and like I always say, once comp geek, always comp geek and once a Spider-Man fan, always a Spider-Man fan. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next time in the universe and hopefully Spider-Man will stay in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.